Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tay form, which is a very useful part of the Japanese language. The Tay form can be used to, among other things, state what is currently happening, make requests, give or deny permission, and connect two or more events or activities. But first, let's look at how to conjugate the Tay form. For Roo verbs, you just take off the Roo and add Tay. Let's take our I eat potato sentence. You can change it to Watashi wa jigai mo tabiteimasu, which means I am eating potatoes, as in it is currently happening. You can also replace imasu with kudasai to make a request. The sentence jigai mo tabite kudasai means please eat a potato. The rules for u verbs are more complex and change based on how they end. For verbs which have the final syllables u, su, and ru, you take it off and add te. Ao becomes ate, matsu becomes mate, and toru becomes tote. For u verbs ending in mu, fu, and nu, you take off the last part and add nde. Yomu becomes yonde, asobu becomes asonde, and shinu becomes shinde. For u verbs that end in ku, you take off the ku and add ite. Kaku becomes kaite. However, the exception to this rule is iku, which would conjugate as ite. For verbs which end in gu, you would take off the u and add, or the gu and add ide. Oyogu to swim becomes oyoide. For u verbs that end in su, you would take off the su altogether and make it shte. Hanasu to speak will become shte, hanashte. And for regular verbs suru and kuru, you would make them shte and kite respectively. Binkyo suru to study will become binkyo shte. Let's take a look at what you can actually do with the tape form. You've already seen how we add kudasai to make a request and how to say something is currently happening. You can also use the tape form to get permission to do something or forbid it. To get permission, you would conjugate your form as we just saw and add mo i des. I can say jikai mo tabete mo i des, which means you may eat potatoes. To forbid something, you conjugate your verb and add wa ikimasen. So I would say jikai mo tabete wa ikimasen, which means do not eat potatoes. You can use the te form to connect multiple verbs too. To do this, you conjugate the first verb as a te form and the second verb normally. For instance, you can say Watashi wa jigai mo tabete ega wo mimashita, which means I ate potatoes and watched a movie. Note that you use the te form for the first verb regardless of whether it's past, present, or future tense. The conjugation of the second verb lets the listener know what tense the ver sentence is in. That's all for now. Tune in next time to learn more Japanese. Like this video and hit that subscribe button so you'll never ever be rid of me.